Welcome to Family DIY. Today we are going to be installing Tiger Armor running boards onto our Toyota Tundra. I want to commend the company for doing a really good job on the packaging of this. It's a nice sturdy box, lots of styrofoam holding everything in place so it doesn't get damaged in shipping. So major props to that. Also inside the package you're going to find a two-sided instruction manual. You're also going to find warranty and coupons for future purchase and then the box of hardware that comes along with it. So let's start getting this thing out and see what we have. Let's get our first look at the Tiger running boards. Now that I have a good look at it, it looks awesome. It's very sturdy. It's got a black powder coating on it and the construction makes it look incredibly aggressive. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the box of hardware and see what we have inside. All right, so inside the bag, you're going to find 12 of these hex bolts. You're going to find 12 lo uh, lock washers, and you're also going to find 12 of these flat washers. Next, we have to find the mounting locations underneath the truck. Quick tip, if you have a yoga mat, it makes it a million times more pleasant. Good luck. Found one. Okay, found another. And there's another one at the end of the truck. We're gonna use our ratchet now to take out the hex bolts on the mounting location. One down, two more to go. So here's a little more of a closer look up at the side of it. You can see right here you have the stars with the Tiger logo on it. Uh, some people really love it, some people don't. So I actually see online some people just basically getting an adhesive, a rubberized uh, sticky thing right here. Honestly, I can't remember what it's called, but I've seen it online. I'll stick one in the description below and you can just put it over it if you really want to cover it. Personally, I don't really care, so I'm just going to leave it like so. So now that the truck is prepared to actually receive the uh, uh, running bar, we're going to go ahead and take the hex bolt and we're going to go and attach one of the locker washers to it. And then we are going to take one of our flat washers, put it right through here. So you're going to see it along those lines. So when it is tightened up, it's going to tighten up. And we're going to be putting this thing right through here into the chassis of the truck. So we'll bring it under there and show you how, to, how it's done. Well, it is advised to have two people here installing the whole thing. If you are completely by yourself and don't have a helper, one trick is bring out the styrofoam that came in the package. You can use this to lay underneath the truck and then you can lay the running board on top of it while you're getting everything all lined up underneath. So even though we have two people here, I'm still gonna use it because I still don't want to actually drop it and scratch up my brand new bars. So time to get installed. All right, so just one quick note is there is a passenger side and a driver's side to set these bars. The driver's side will have the two closest to each other and one farthest away. So just make sure you're putting them on the right side. So let me show you how you can do this if you're doing it all by yourself. You can bring it up underneath here and then just rest it. And now you have free hands. So as you can see here, the whole bar is being supported by a styrofoam. So if you're by yourself, it's still going to be harder, but you can still do it yourself. So now I just have one of the bolts in here getting it in place. Remember, you don't want to tighten it completely because you still need to make the adjustments to make sure it's perfectly level for your truck. So now that I have one in here, I can go around, put the other ones in, hand tighten, and then once I make sure it's all in the right direction, I will go ahead and uh, ratchet it. So as you can tell, even your husband can install it all by himself, but he needed my help tightening the screws back up. So here I go. That was pretty 
easy to install and they look great on the truck. Look at how cool this looks. So the running board is super sturdy and it brings the truck to a whole new level. So here is a view from underneath the vehicle. You can see it does bring down the entire vehicle just slightly, but when you look at it closely, it doesn't bring it down all that much farther than the gas tank that's behind it. But I'm going to go ahead and measure this up so I can tell you on a completely stock Toyota Tundra SR5 four-wheel drive how much lower it brings you down the sides. So I'm not perfectly level, but we're looking at uh, using these new bars. We're looking at a height off the ground of about 11 and a half inches on the Toyota Tundra. All right, so now we're going to get underneath the truck. And this is just a few inches away from the brand new steps. And again, this is not perfectly level, so it's not precise. But the gas tank looks like it's about 12 inches off the ground. So if we remember back uh, before, we're looking at about a half an inch difference. So it really doesn't make that much of a difference. And if this is a problem for you, well, just lift your truck. One of the reasons why I decided to pick this up compared to many of the other side steps that you have on the market is that it is completely smooth going along here. Unlike some of them that have the V coming down with the step because I'm just afraid that you know when I'm on the trail that something might come up and get caught on it so with this it is not one of those rock slider bars 100% it's not a rock slider however you won't necessarily get caught when you're going along and this might actually provide a little bit of rock and brush protection for the side of your beautiful truck and one other nice feature is that this thing is continuous going along the side. This one right here goes to the back door. It doesn't go all the way back here, but if you're in a parking lot, this will help some protection from some of those people bumping into the side of your door with their doors, because it does stick out just slightly out there. So if they're the right height, it'll just bump right there. Thank you so much for watching. We have links to the Amazon um, Tiger running board in the description below and if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel until next time thank you